Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to create 4x4 bingo cards using software called Bingo Card Printer, which you can download from bingocardprinter.com. Um, the software is compatible with all recent versions of Windows on the PC, uh, and it allows you to create bingo cards for education or entertainment purposes. So what I'll do is i click Create New Bingo Card Project. Now I have a choice of what kind of bingo card I'd like to create. Create a blank one, standard bingo cards for US use with the numbers in columns, uh, ones with alphabet. Uh, there's also lots of educational varieties here, art, English, events. Events include things like um, baby showers, birthdays, bridal showers, good for uh, holidays like Christmas and so on, uh, and geography, history, languages and so on. Lots and lots and lots of different things. But we'll start with a blank one, and I'm going to say create a blank bingo card, so either select that and click OK, or I double click on that, and I've got my blank bingo card. Now, it starts off as a 5x5 five five bingo card. Um, I can just change that to uh, whatever side I want. So in this case, I'm going to use 4x4. Four four. Um, and I now can uh, enter my word list here. Now, if I was using um, the bingo cards for entertainment purposes, I probably would want to use numbered bingo cards. But since it's uh, for education, I'm going to use this particular application. Uh, and I'm going to use the bingo cards in a reading class. So perhaps there's an alternative to flashcards. I'm going to put in some words that children might need to learn to uh, recognize and read out. So we'll put in some uh, fairly easy words. Let's put in uh, ant, uh, bat, cat, dog, um, apple, uh, ball, cow, dig. You can see as I enter the words uh, on the left hand side, uh, they're appearing in the same order on the um, sample bingo card uh, in the center of the screen. So let's say call Doug. Maybe add a few more. Let's say arm. Um, I've already done arm. Um, let's uh, add uh, alphabet. And uh, bird. Cap. And the last one I think I'll choose is dot. So I've got some words here. Um, now, if I rearrange this word list, the sample bingo card will contain these words in the same order. So, for example, if I sort the word list, um, the sample bingo card's got the word in the same order. Now, when I print the bingo card or cards, um, the words will actually be arranged randomly on every different bingo card I print. So, for example, if I put in 10, I want to print 10 bingo cards, I'll turn off this option here, I'll tell you about it later. Um, you'll see when I do uh, print preview, the words are arranged uh, randomly, and then on the next bingo card, they're arranged differently randomly. Now, one thing that you might want to do is arrange the words into um, groups. So, providing you have, uh, in this case, a multiple of four, there's a number of words, um, it's very easy to just turn on this option here, organize into columns, and the first four items appear in column one, the second four in column two, third four in column three, and so forth. And in this case, it, I've got four A items, four B items, four C items, four D items. Um, so, it's an easy way to um, make sure your bingo card follows some rules if that's what you want. Uh, and if you know, if I now do print preview, you'll see that um, in each case, uh, the A words in there, B, C, and D words, and if I do that one. It doesn't have to be 16 words, it just needs to be uh, enough to fill out the card, and ideally be a multiple of the number of columns, so a multiple of four in this particular case. Um, okay, uh, as well as um, changing my word list um, and changing the bingo card size, I can also choose whether or not to have the heading on the bingo card, can change what the word says at the top if I want to. Um, if it's an odd number of squares, um, for example, a 5x5, five five, there is an option to make a free space square in the center, uh, which again, you can change the text off. Uh, it doesn't actually work here for 5x5 five because five I haven't got enough words to fill it out. So we go to back to 4x4. Uh, four four. Um, I can also change the um, fonts and colors. I can change the fonts for the heading and the squares and the free space individually. I can change the colors as well, the same sort of way. So for example, let's change the heading to be uh, red text on a yellow background, and we'll make the lines um, green, so it's a nice colourful bingo card, uh, and I can even make checkerboard of the squares and things like that, but we'll just do that one, and there you see, um, there's my colourful bingo card. Uh, there's some options here for controlling the printing. First option is whether or not to print the call list. Um, if I turn that on, what happens is when I print it, I get an extra sheet with this list of words in random order. It's very useful if you're a teacher using bingo cards in a classroom situation, you want a printed reference to refer to. If you don't want it, you don't have to use it. Um, you can pull items out of a hat or draw them randomly without using the call list if you want. And there's actually an option in the software, which I'll show you at the end of the video, 
um, as an alternative to the call list, but I'll leave it on for now so you can see what the call list looks like. Secondly, I can choose how many bingo cards to print per page, one, two, or four. Um, obviously, um, if I print more than one per page, uh, each individual bingo card will come out smaller. The advantage, though, is it will allow me to save paper if I've got a lot of bingo cards. And then how many different bingo cards are on to print here? And I can put in as many as I want here, up to uh, 9,999, and I can print off them all in one go. So let's put 100. Um, and then I would get 100 different bingo cards, and we'll make them all completely random in this example. And I'm going to do print preview rather than print, so you can see on screen. First page is the call list, the list of words in random order. Next page, um, I'll zoom out so you can see the whole bingo card. There they are, the words arranged randomly on the first bingo card, and the second bingo card is different, the third one is different, and so on. So I've produced 100 different bingo cards with very minimal effort. So that's the software, bingo card printer. Um, now, I did say there was another option as an alternative to the call list. If I go into the player option here, I say call game, and the software can choose one word at random for me. When I do next, I can see the next word, and so on, and so on, and so on. Um, and that's basically it. The software is called Bingo Card Printer. The website is bingocardprinter.com. Thank you very much.